Hello friends! Have you ever heard the word salvation? Salvation means to save, to be saved from hell and from a broken relationship with God and the curses that plagued mankind as a result of Adam's fall. God made Adam and gave him dominion over the earth. When Adam sinned in the garden by eating of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, he lost dominion over the earth. Praise God! God sent Jesus, the second Adam, to save man from sin and restore the dominion of the earth to man. Now, Joseph and Mary were engaged to be married when Mary discovered that she was pregnant. Joseph wanted to put her away secretly without embarrassing her. While Joseph thought of these things, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Matthew 1 verse 21 And Mary brought forth the child Jesus. Same country, some shepherds were in the field watching over their sheep at night, and the angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2 10 and 11. Jesus means Saviour. Matthew 1 verse 21. When the Samaritan woman encountered Jesus, she went to tell her people, and the people, after the encounter with the person of Jesus, said, John 4 verse 42, Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Jesus' mission was to save man from sin, and he did it by dying on the cross. Here it is in a nutshell. Just as one person did it wrong and got us all in this trouble with sin and death, another person did it right and got us out of it. But more than just getting us out of trouble, he got us into life. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 18 Jesus came to give us the gift of salvation. God saved you by his grace when you believed and you can take credit for this. It's a gift from God. Salvation is not the reward for the good things we have done so none of us can boast about it. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 we receive the gift of salvation by believing in Jesus. Salvation comes no other way. No other name has been or will be given to us by which we can be saved. Only this one. Acts 4 verse 12. John 14 verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The gift of salvation is free but not cheap. No, no, no. It was paid for with the precious blood of Jesus. This beautiful gift of salvation is only received by putting our faith in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2 verse 8 God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gifts. We put our faith in Jesus by believing the finished work on the cross. Yes, what Jesus did on the cross. Jesus came to save the world, not to condemn the world. John 3 verse 17 For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, 
but that the world through him might be saved. Do you want to receive the gift of salvation? And see with me, Lord Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God who died on the cross to save me. I receive you into my heart today. If you just prayed with me, congratulations! You have just received the gift of salvation. This comes for celebration.